Adorama TV presents Getting the Shot with Corey Rich. Hi, I'm Corey Rich, and you're watching Adorama TV. Adorama is the place that I buy all things photo and video. In this episode of Exploring the Creative Process, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite pictures of all time, both because I love it in terms of an image, but also the experience was so extraordinary when making the photograph. Years ago, I actually took a semester off from college to photograph rock climbing around the western United States. During that six months on the road, I had the opportunity to join two great friends, Jeff Jackson and Kevin Gallagher, in northern Mexico on a climbing expedition to climb Los Ramotos, which was an incredibly overhanging limestone cliff that poked out of the Mexican desert. The lesson really to be learned by this episode of Exploring the Creative Process is always look behind you. As photographers, it's very natural. We, we begin to think about the light that we're anticipating. We can't wait to see that morning light on our subject. And that's exactly what happened in this situation. Kevin, Jeff, and I got up very early, actually in the middle of the night, to ascend the ropes so we could be in just the right position, a thousand plus feet off the ground, to get morning light. I envisioned spectacular soft light on the subjects as I pointed the camera down at the climb. I realized as we ascended the ropes we were, we were moving too slowly. Too much equipment, the ropes were complex, we were tired, we didn't get up quite as early as we probably should have. And I could see the sun rising over my shoulder, and I realized we're going to miss the opportunity that I was really aiming for. And as I sulked in the reality of missing the moment, I saw the golden light hitting the rock. I was leaning against the anchors, kind of my head in my arm, you know, sitting in a harness with my ascenders attached to the rope, camera slung around my shoulder. And then I did this thing, which is very important. As Kevin swung out from the belay, it was a very steep wall, so he had to ascend the rope in an overhanging environment. He said, wow, what a sunrise. And I spun around, and I realized the photograph was not what I had preconceived. It was actually the silhouette of Kevin ascending the rope with the desert in the background. Unbeknownst to me, unexpectedly, one of the desert peaks was poking out the sun was flaring, there was a sea of clouds below, and Kevin was ascending a rope that seemed impossible. He was 20 or 30 feet away from the wall. At the moment, I didn't realize how special this photograph really was, that the light was incredible, the composition was incredible, and the experience, the moment captured the essence of the experience that I had with Kevin and Jeff Jackson in that environment. Now I look back 15 plus years later and it's one of the most powerful pictures that I've ever captured in the rock climbing environment. If I were to make this picture today, if I were on an expedition with Kevin and Jeff, I would definitely be embracing cutting edge equipment. I would be on the Nikon D750 or the Nikon D810 depending on the resolution that I needed. Lensing, I might actually be on the Nikon 16 to 35. Even though it's an F4 lens, I like the idea that there's VR built in and I like that extra bit of focal length, slightly wider than my other go-to's wide zoom, which is the 17 to 35 millimeter f2.8 lens. I would have sand disk memory inside of the camera, whether that's SD or CF, and I now use large cards, 128 gig or 256 gig, extreme pro cards, high capacity and reliable. And I would have a low pro bag. I love the top loading low pro bags that allow me to sling the bag over my shoulder in vertical environments and just pull the camera out, maybe have an extra lens so that I can make quick changes yet protect the lens changes. If I drop the lens, it falls back into the bag. And the rest of it really comes down to just being in the right place and continuing to make pictures as the situation evolves. You're watching Adorama TV. There's a ton of free content just like this published on a regular basis. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, please do. And I'm Corey Rich, and I hope to see you soon. Be sure to check out Adorama's latest contest. There's tons of cool stuff that you can win. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. 
Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use AdoramaPix.com.